we are back here for Masters Heat number two in lane number one, nap time. Lane number two, Wadfathers. Lane three, Forge O Meesters. Lane four, Pure Blast. Lane five, Marbles. Lane six, Yard Fit Yasters. Lane seven, Generation X. Lane eight, WD40s. Lane nine, Red Zone Rookies. Lane 10, Art Axes Bitter Battle. Lane 11, Urban Goats. Lane 12, M4, M, Feisty Threesome. Lane 13, The Coffin Dodgers. Lane 14, Mayhem, My Prodol. Uh, lane 15, Null Sparta Goats. And we are underway here. Masters Heat number two underway at the Battle 2023, powered by Puma. Remember, these athletes need to get through those toes to bar. Then they're going to move on to a burpee pull-up. Then they move on to their rope climbs into those deadlifts. Remember, deadlifts are at 85 kgs. You can use a single athlete or a double athlete for those deadlifts. And then come those handstand walks. A lot of athletes have been struggling on those handstand walks. Uh, it is 2.5 increments. And if you don't make that 2.5 increment, you go back to the line that you started at. However, if you cross with both hands over the line, you get that 2.5 increments. And if you come short at the next 2.5, you just move back to the previous line that you had started at. A lot of athletes, like I mentioned, struggling though on those handstand walks. And that burpee to uh, pull up. Not the easiest. See there, got the knee sleeves over the shins. Helps a little bit there for uh, the chafe that you can get when you climb those ropes. These athletes are allowed to use their feet. As you see there, nicely done. Great technique on the rope climb. Saving a lot of that grip as well as those biceps. going uh, way beyond where he should be going. He just needs to get his hands over the blue tape on the rope. The man's going all the way to the top. And there you go. Good rep, and he can come back down. One more. And he gets over there. They'll be moving into those deadlifts. And here we have a couple of teams already. It looks like uh, lane number three on those deadlifts. Lane number three, Forge uh, Dude Meesters. See a little bit of a, a struggle there on the ropes at the moment. He needs to try to use his legs just a bit more. At the moment, he's getting the J-hook, but he's not actually uh, squatting himself up, which is costing him big time on the grip as well as those biceps. And as we've seen, when those arms start getting fatigued, a lot of the athletes are struggling on those handstand walks. Catching some... Uh, of the spectators here. Beautiful day out here at Monte Casino. 6.30 left on the clock. Plenty time for these athletes to get to round number three. Remember, when they get to round number three, they will stay in round number three. They do not come back down. And in round number three, they will have their own little mini AMRAP with the remaining time. On these deadlifts, 
When you're using the double athletes, you've got to make sure that those weights on either side touch the mat at the same time, because otherwise it starts wobbling a little bit, and that wobble can start taxing the grip a lot more than you can anticipate, than you actually anticipate. And here we see some of these athletes already on those handstand walks, and there you see he came down before that yellow line, so he's got to start back at the white line. And as mentioned before, we've had a lot of athletes struggle here, and uh, got to get both hands over the line, and he does so. So now he's back on the yellow. He needs to get to that final white line. That is lane number two, Wadfathers. Slightly ahead of lane number one, nap time. Onto those pull-ups for round number two. Remember round... Round number three, they will go into that burpee muscle up. And uh, nice shots here. As you can see, everyone cheering on their favorite uh, teams here. Let us know in the comments who your favorite team is and who you're supporting and whether we'll be seeing you as a female later on today. Let us know in the comments and what your team name is if you are competing. That's our ladies competing a little bit later. We'll be covering that liftoff, doing our, uh, a highlight reel once again for you guys on the liftoff. Lane three at the moment, our current leaders, Forged Dude Meesters. Yeah, they are here. The guys in the red t-shirts, just absolutely dominating at the moment. Looks like they are well ahead. However, will they be able to hold on to this? Remember, there's still four minutes left, and then they're going to go into round number three where they'll be doing those burpee muscle-ups. And that burpee muscle-up is going to start taxing these athletes. And that opens up the door for the rest of the field to try to catch the men in lane number three. That is uh, Forged Dude Meesters. Oda Meesters. That is not a D. That is an O. <laughs> uh, my eyesight's going in my old age, I swear. Oh, a couple of athletes just collapsing there. So I do apologize to uh, the team in lane number three, Forged Odemeesters. I kept seeing a D. And he's uh, getting frustrated. You actually want to calm yourself down, especially on those handstand walks. You don't want to rush it. This is where a lot of athletes, they start getting angry with themselves, especially in the team competitions, because you feel that pressure that uh, your peers are wanting you to do better, but you can't. And this is uh, just some advice for athletes that are in teams. Rather calm yourself down. Just worry about yourself at that point. Gather yourself and then start your handstand walk once again. And especially that breathing aspect of the handstand walks. If you're not getting uh, your breathing right on the handstand walks, I can promise you now, you're not going to go very far. And that's where a lot of athletes struggle, is that breathing. And right here, right now, this is where he just needs to calm down, collect himself, and then go again. Could have taken another few seconds there, but will he make it? He's almost there. Both hands need to cross. And he's over. He gets it. They're going to swap out. And here are your leaders at the moment. Your uh, forged Oda Meesters. Getting no rep there on those toes to bar. But look here, great technique here on the handstand walks. He's breathing nicely. So especially if you can get your breathing nicely, your scapula tends to uh, stay a bit more stable. What happens is a lot of these athletes, they'll start breathing really hard or they hold their breath. Your scapula actually doesn't uh, hold nicely and you start moving around you lose that that base that form uh, in the shoulders which uh, causes you to fall to the floor
And uh, yeah, we have a little battle, toes to bar, and onto those ropes. It looks like the team on the right there, slightly ahead of the team on the left. Nice wide shot here for you, so you can get a full shot of the field at the moment. Only 10 seconds left for these athletes. This is where you just got to dig deep, try to get those reps in. And time. That's a wrap for heat number two of our Masters. Next up. Don't go anywhere. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notifications button. And we'll be catching you for the very next video, which is going to be the Opens. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be super exciting. You've got a couple of athletes or teams in heat number three that are trying to make their way into heat number two. So keep an eye on that. And we'll be seeing you in just a little bit.